Hallo. Ja, hallo und herzlich willkommen hier zum Part 4 von Zurück in die Zukunft, dem Part 4. Ja, gut. <lacht> ja, hier ist euer Danny zu DLB TV und werden wir heute mal zu unserem Freund fliegen, schweben, reisen. Erstmal müssen wir noch mit unserem Vater hier ein kleines Pläuschel halten. So, was haben wir für ein Kostüm an? Äh... Uh, didn't I tell you? I, I got the lead in the school play. Uh, we're doing... Grapes of Wrath? Right. Oh, Steinbeck. Who are you playing? Um, uh... Never mind, you don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing. Right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away too long. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? Wir sehen ja auch schon ziemlich älter aus in der Kleidung, muss ich dazu sagen. Ja, angekommen hier in der Zeitmaschine mit unserem Freund Einstein, werden wir jetzt uns auf die Reise begeben ins Jahr 1931. Time circuits on. Flux capacitor uh, fluxy. So, jetzt müssen wir uns ja noch die Zeit schalten. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. So, ab geht's, meine lieben Freunde. Ab zurück in die Zukunft. Spaß zum Laufen. Ab geht's. Mal sehen, wo wir jetzt hinkommen. Einstein, where do you go now, boy? Sehr, sehr schön, das muss ich dann wirklich sagen. Also Ja, sowieso so ein Fan, muss ich dazu sagen. Und. Young man! Wahnsinn. Excuse me, young man! 
Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for oh, ten dog. long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... Ich kenne Doc. Es hat einen Fehler gegeben. There's got to be some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. Ich unterstütze das. Ich kenne Doc. How'd Doc get himself into... Doc? Doc is his nickname. I'm good friends with Carl. You are? Really? Oh, but I need an unbiased opinion for my story. Pretend you don't know him. How would you feel about his heroic act of destruction? Ja, und so haben wir uns wieder reingerissen. Wie gesagt, ich habe das glaube ich schon mal in Part 1 gesagt, ich weiß es nicht. Egal was man hier macht, egal was man antippt, es verändert sich immer. Das es verändert sich alles. Egal wie man es wieder anders gemacht hätte, es verändert sich das ganze Dasein. Also, ich finde das echt wahnsinn geil. Also, ist schon was. So, ich bin gegen Bomben. <lacht> Ich unterstütze das. Well, I'm not so big on bomb blasts. Yes, but this bomb blasted a speakeasy, the very symbol of lawlessness and corruption. You're all for cleaning up the town, aren't you? Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets, no doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin and debauchery? Ich kann sie nicht finden. Im Gefolge keine Nachricht. Ja. Du liebe Alte Frau, die mich gerade am Balkon mit ihrem Megafon so kaputt gespielt hat, kriegst keine Nachricht. No, no, not really. That's the spirit. Destroy them with indifference. If we refuse to patronize their establishments and glorify their wicked exploits, they'll soon be exposed for the pathetic wretches they are. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Ja, Clint Eastwood, würde ich jetzt sagen, aber es geht ja nicht. Sunny. Sunny Crockett. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Crockett. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. Hi. Is that Candy? I know. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet. I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no. Down, boy. Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Doc, I gotta find Doc. Ja, meine Lieben. Angekommen hier wurden wir von dieser lästigen Reporterin angegriffen. Und wir werden jetzt mal gucken, wo wir unseren lieben, getreuen Doc finden. Guck mal hier irgendwie lang. Ah. Ich schätze mal, unser Freund im Kupferstessler sitzt noch im Knast. Also werden wir mal zum Knast gehen. Oder zur, zur Polizeistation. Sehen, ob wir da was finden. Ob wir ihn finden. Kann ja sein, dass er schon weggebracht wurde, aber wir können es ja mal probieren. So. Ja, Störung ist ein bisschen. Gewöhnungsbedürftig. Ja, so gut. Genau. <lacht> Who are you and what do you want? Can I talk to uh, Carl Sagan? Are you his lawyer? Um, no. Then scram. Ja, das sind doch. Geht doch vom Fenster. Ah, Dark. Ah! Marty! Doc! What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? <gasps> the automatic retrieval system. Of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. 
They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Great Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse! Why would they do that? Guess they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? Hmm. Doc wird morgen erschossen. Er sitzt hinter schwedischen Gardinen. Ja, ich sage es dem Richter, ich reise zurück in, die Zeit, in der Zeit. Zieh es durch, sprich mit den Gangstern. Why don't we try to tough it out? Now that we know what's coming, maybe we sneak it past the gangsters with a bulletproof vest or something. That might work with one or two bullets, but from the looks of this article, it appears that I'm going to be mowed down in a hail of Tommy gun fire that rendered the innocent stranger little more than a puffy mass of bones and gristle. Who writes like that? According to the byline, one Edna Strickland. I should have guessed. Yeah, die Frau ist halt nicht ganz normal. So, wir werden immer weiter gucken hier. Sprich mit den Gangstern. Hey, maybe I could talk to the gangsters. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided. Do you? Why don't we tell the authorities? Tell them what? That my friend from the future has proof that I'll be murdered tomorrow? They'd ship us both off to the loony bin. And trust me, you don't want to see the inside of a 1931 insane asylum. Why, is it Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc. You're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Ausbruch. Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. You have a rocket-powered drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen. A few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me! 1931 me! Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely. Yeah, that is so much very, very good. And what is there with the time-time continuum? What should I do to bring the rocket bore to bore? Bauen. Where can I find? How am I supposed to convince your younger self to finish the rocket drill? Just tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. I won't come up with the inspiration for the flux capacitor for another 24 years. Then what am I supposed to... Just be your charming self. From what I remember, I'm a pretty easygoing kid, so enlisting me in a scientific adventure should be a piece of cake. Yeah, who can you find it? Okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why don't you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. So, meine Lieben, das war jetzt der Part 4 hier von Zurück in die Zukunft. Das Game, ja, bei DLP TV mit Aaron Danny. 
Und wenn es euch gefallen hat, dann lasst mir doch einen kleinen Like da oder ein kleines Abo. Und wenn es euch super gefallen hat, dann macht mir von den Beten nichts. Dann macht mir nur einen super Kommentar. Da würde ich mich nämlich auch dafür freuen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao, ciao.